So I think over the next five years we're going to see a continuation of the evolution and the uptake of mobile as a key channel for us. And I think moving beyond that, I think the connected home and the connected shopper is probably going to be the next big innovation that we're going to see in FMCG. Gosh, that is a good question. Who knows, basically. But I mean, what I think what I find um, most interesting and obviously something that's going to be very much built upon is augmented reality. And I think you see some brands um, using augmented reality um, to engage with their consumer. But I think, you know, the, the next step will be it en masse and I think that will be kind of surrounding our, our day to day um, kind of consumer experiences. I think that it's quite an interesting time for FMCG because what we're seeing at the moment is a huge amount uh, more competition coupled with a, a huge amount of retailer rationalisation so brands are being cut from the shelves which is putting pressure on brands to be super meaningful. I think what's going to inevitably happen is there'll be a lot more co-creation with brands' own consumers to reinvent both their MPD and possibly even their communication. Uh, what excites me about social and FMCG is I think there's lots of untapped potential. We've got some great brands and we're doing some great work and I can see even more opportunity to do even more great work over the next few years. Um, well, what's exciting me the most is the 360 degree videos on social, which again, perhaps not that new, but I just can't stop watching them. And as a, from a, speaking from a consumer, I think it's so engaging. I think you're seeing, you're seeing a lot of the brands jumping on that um, 360 degree video bandwagon and it's, um, you know, for dwell time, you know, I'm spending a few minutes a day watching those videos. What excites me about social and FMCG is the sheer pace of change. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to keep up with and there's no real point trying to keep up with. Uh, for me, it's a, a case of test and learn what you can, try stuff, fail some stuff and learn from it and then crack on with something else from there. So I was talking about our Barmy for Asani campaign for our latest launch of um, our sandwich flavour Chris and the focus was really on the principles that we apply to social media in order for us to get a scale at speed. I'll be speaking about Lavazza's brand activation at Wimbledon um, and more specifically about the queue um, and we basically utilised a um, new technology called Ripplet, which uh, enabled us to create personalised coffees. So consumers came down to the queue um, and instead of just grabbing their coffee sample and going, they actually got a personalised coffee experience um, and kind of innovation being at the core of our brand, this was a real first for us and really allowed us to kind of leverage on the amazing um, dwell time and the experience that um, is, is happening at the queue at Wimbledon. Uh, it's all about uh, sponsorship uh, and how to activate a successful sponsorship uh, campaign with social media at the heart. So uh, I've discussed our Evian example where we did a campaign called Hashtag Wimbledon this year uh, and essentially that campaign is all about bringing our target audience who we call leaders in life closer to the action at Wimbledon which is uh, an experience that uh, so many of us try to get and get tickets and get through the gates of Wimbledon but can't.